What if I told you that right now, as you watch this, two of the deadliest volcanoes on Earth, Santorini and Campi Flegre, are waking up at the exact same time? Scientists are in a state of shock as over 12,800 earthquakes rattle Santorini, while the ground beneath Naples swells at an alarming rate of 1.5 centimeters per month. These aren't just ordinary volcanoes, they're ticking time bombs capable of unleashing tsunamis, pyroclastic flows, and ash clouds that could plunge the world into chaos. But here's the real kicker. These two volcanic giants might be connected by a hidden force deep within the Earth's mantle. Are we witnessing the beginning of a double volcanic eruption that could rewrite history? And could climate change be fueling this impending disaster? From the legend of Atlantis to the extinction of the Neanderthals, these volcanoes have shaped our past, and now they might just determine our future. Stick around, because what you're about to discover will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about the planet we call home. Antorini, the picturesque island known for its stunning sunsets and crystal clear waters, hides a dark secret beneath its serene surface. Over 3,600 years ago, this very island was the site of one of the most violent volcanic eruptions in human history. An explosion so powerful, it wiped out the Minoan civilization and gave birth to the legend of Atlantis. Today, Santorini is showing signs of life once again. Since early 2025, scientists have recorded over 12,800 earthquakes in the region some exceeding 5.3 in magnitude. The ground is swelling, gas emissions are spiking, and magma is on the move. Could this be the calm before the storm? But that's not all. Satellite data reveals that the island is rising, a phenomenon known as inflation. This occurs when magma pushes upward, causing the land to swell like a balloon about to burst. The last time this happened, it ended in catastrophe. If history repeats itself, the consequences could be devastating, not just for Greece, but for the entire Mediterranean. Tsunamis, ash clouds, and climate disruptions could ripple across the globe. The question is, are we prepared for what's coming? While the world watches Santorini, another monster is stirring just a thousand kilometers away. Beneath the bustling city of Naples, lies Campi Flegre, a supervolcano so massive it makes Mount Vesuvius look like a molehill. This eight-mile-wide caldera has a history of apocalyptic eruptions, including one 39,000 years ago that may have contributed to the extinction of the Neanderthals. Today, Campi Flegre is waking up. The ground is rising at an alarming rate of 1.5 centimeters per month, and seismic activity is intensifying. In February 2025 alone, the region recorded over a dozen earthquakes, including two powerful magnitude 3.9 tremors. What makes Campi Flegre even more terrifying is its location. Nearly three million people live directly on top of this ticking time bomb. If it erupts, the city of Naples could be buried under layers of ash and pyroclastic flows. Fast-moving currents of superheated gas and volcanic material could sweep through densely populated areas, leaving no chance for escape. The economic and humanitarian impact would be unimaginable. But here's the real question. Why is Campi Flegre waking up now at the same time as Santorini? At first glance, Santorini and Campi Flegre seem unrelated, separated by over 1,000 kilometers of Mediterranean Sea. But recent studies suggest that deep beneath the Earth's crust, these two volcanic systems might be connected in ways we never imagined. Scientists have discovered that large-scale magma movements can influence volcanic systems thousands of kilometers apart. Could a surge of magma beneath Santorini be destabilizing Campi Flegre, or vice versa? The evidence is mounting. Seismic swarms in both regions are showing eerie similarities and gas emissions from the two volcanoes share striking chemical compositions. Some researchers believe that both systems are fed by the same deep magma plume, a colossal column of molten rock 
rising from the Earth's mantle. If this theory is true, it could mean that the awakening of one volcano could trigger the eruption of the other. Are we witnessing the beginning of a chain reaction that could engulf the Mediterranean in fire and ash? As if the situation wasn't dire enough, there's another factor at play, climate change. The melting of polar ice caps and glaciers is reducing surface pressure on the Earth's crust, a phenomenon known as isostatic rebound. This destabilizes magma chambers, potentially triggering increased volcanic and seismic activity. In regions like Iceland, where glacial melting is significant, scientists have already observed a direct correlation between ice loss and volcanic eruptions. Could the same be happening in the Mediterranean? But that's not all. Rising sea levels are altering hydrostatic pressure on the ocean floor, which could further stress tectonic plates and magma chambers. Extreme weather events such as heavy rainfall are also infiltrating the Earth's crust, causing steam-driven explosions. The combination of these factors creates a perfect storm for volcanic activity. As the planet warms, the risk of catastrophic eruptions increases. Are we inadvertently fueling the very forces that could destroy us? If Santorini and Campi Flegre were to erupt simultaneously, the consequences would be catastrophic. But what if these eruptions triggered a domino effect, awakening other volcanoes in the region? The Mediterranean is home to dozens of active and dormant volcanoes, each capable of unleashing devastation on a massive scale. A chain reaction of eruptions could plunge the world into a volcanic winter, disrupting global climate patterns and causing widespread famine. Historically, large-scale volcanic eruptions have had cascading effects. The 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora led to the infamous Year Without a Summer, causing crop failures and food shortages across the globe. If Santorini and Campi Flegre were to erupt today, the impact could be even more severe. The question is, are we prepared for such a scenario? Or are we blindly walking into a disaster of our own making? Let's talk about the human cost. If Santorini erupts, the immediate impact would be felt across the Aegean Sea. Tsunamis could devastate coastal communities, while ash clouds would disrupt air travel and agriculture. The economic fallout would be immense, with billions of dollars in damages and countless lives lost. But the real danger lies in the long-term effects, climate disruptions that could last for years. Campi Flegre's eruption would be even more devastating. The city of Naples, with its three million residents, would be ground zero. Pyroclastic flows could wipe out entire neighborhoods in minutes, while ash clouds would blanket Europe shutting down air travel and crippling economies. The humanitarian crisis would be unprecedented, with millions displaced and countless lives lost. Are we ready to face such a catastrophe? Scientists are working around the clock to understand what's happening beneath Santorini and Campi Flegre. Using advanced satellite technology, seismic monitors, and computer models, they're piecing together the puzzle of these restless giants. But predicting volcanic eruptions is no easy task. Unlike earthquakes, which can strike suddenly, volcanoes often give subtle warnings, ground swelling, gas emissions, and seismic tremors. The challenge lies in interpreting these signs. Are they precursors to an imminent eruption or simply the Earth's way of releasing pressure? Scientists are divided, but one thing is clear. The stakes have never been higher. If they get it wrong, the consequences could be catastrophic. But if they get it right, they could save millions of lives. The question is, do we have enough time? The eruption of Santorini and Campi Flegre wouldn't just affect the Mediterranean. It would send shockwaves across the globe. Ash clouds could disrupt air travel grounding flights and stranding passengers. Sulfur dioxide emissions could trigger a volcanic winter, cooling the planet and disrupting agriculture. The economic impact would be felt worldwide, with supply chains disrupted and markets thrown into chaos. But the real danger lies in the unknown. 
How would governments respond to such a crisis? Would they work together to mitigate the damage, or would they descend into chaos? The eruption of these two volcanoes could test the limits of human resilience and cooperation. Are we ready to face such a challenge? While we can't stop a volcanic eruption, we can prepare for one. Governments and communities need to invest in early warning systems, evacuation plans, and disaster relief efforts. Education is key. People need to understand the risks and know what to do in an emergency. But preparation goes beyond infrastructure. It requires a shift in mindset, a recognition that we are not invincible and that nature can strike at any time. Scientists are also exploring ways to mitigate the impact of volcanic eruptions. From geoengineering to magma chamber depressurization, the possibilities are endless. But these solutions come with their own risks. The question is, are we willing to take those risks to protect ourselves from a potential catastrophe? As we stand on the edge of this new era, one thing is clear. The Earth is sending us a warning. The simultaneous unrest of Santorini and Campi Flegre is a reminder that we are not in control. Nature is powerful, unpredictable, and unforgiving. The question is, will we heed this warning or will we ignore it until it's too late? The signs are there, the earthquakes, the ground swelling, the gas emissions. Scientists are sounding the alarm, but are we listening? The fate of millions, perhaps billions, hangs in the balance. The time to act is now, because if we wait too long, the consequences could be unimaginable. So, what do you think? Are we overreacting, or are we standing on the brink of a disaster that could change the world forever? The truth is, no one knows for sure. But one thing is certain. The Earth is speaking, and it's up to us to listen. If you found this video eye-opening, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Because the more people who know about this, the better prepared we'll be. Stay safe, stay informed, and remember, the future is in our hands.